Hey guys, so today we went to David Art Supply, uh, a local art supply store in Metairie, Louisiana. That's right off Severn. It's locally run and operated. And I spent a bunch of money because every time I come to Louisiana, I always have to go to David Art Supply. And I really mean like every time I come to Louisiana. They're one of my favorite art supply stores and I've been giving them my business since I was a wee 17 year old gal, like, more than 10 years ago. So let me just kind of go over some of the things I picked up with you guys. So a lot of what I bought were, and I hate to admit it, things to review. So uh, by multiple requests, I've been getting a lot of, uh, picking up a lot of inexpensive watercolors since so many people have asked. A few of those have gone live on the channel. You can check more in my cheap art supply series here on the channel and over at netosuit.blogspot.com. But I picked up some Jack Richson Art Artist Semi Moist Watercolors. There's actually 16 in here, and you guys can look forward to a review of these. I also picked up some Crayola Education watercolors. So, um, in 2015 or 2016, as part of my affordable art supply series over at netosoup.blogspot.com, I reviewed Crayola's washable watercolors. Now, these have since come out. And I wanted to see how they compare. I think they're meant to compete with like praying watercolors, which I also have, which I'll also be reviewing. So you guys have a lot of inexpensive watercolor videos to look forward to if that is your jam. Let me move that out of the way. I picked up some nib holders because I seem to do a lot of inking tutorials and I seem to always need nib holders and I don't get a budget to pick up supplies. So I have to pay for them out of my own pocket. So if you ever attend one of my hands-on workshops, you should know that I paid for most of the supplies, if not every supply there. So just be respectful of my supplies. Sometimes people are, sometimes people are not. Uh, I picked up some brushes, a synthetic quill, a scrubber, and then a really short sumi brush. I thought it looked neat. Picked up some more alcohol inks because Ranger has released some new colors that I don't yet own. And I picked up Senorita Margarita in pinata color. So these are all alcohol-based inks. Picked up a few uh, color pencils and a coal race pencil because I haven't used one of these in years. And this is what a lot of young artists are used to. So I wanted to kind of pit them against my favorite, the uh, Pilot Color Eno, and uh, see which one was better. A nib holder for my own personal use. This is an interesting Karen Dosh nib holder that has a lever action. So that's kind of cool. A Sumi ink stone and a Sumi ink stick. A set of Caran d'Ache gouache pans. And I've used um, solid gouache cakes in the past. I don't care for them. I'm hoping because this is Caran d'Ache, these will be nicer. I'm probably a fool. Some browse nibs. Oh, and um, you know how I talk about Paper and Ink Arts having an open stock nib bar? Well, David Art Supply also sells nibs open stock. You just need to let one of the employees know they keep those behind the counter. So if you're in the New Orleans area and you're interested in inking with a nib or inking uh, for calligraphy, they carry browse, they carry Nico, they do carry Japanese nibs. So that could be a local way to support local businesses. I picked up some brusho in colors I don't own that seem to have interesting effects. And two Ecoline watercolor, liquid watercolors. You guys have seen me use these on the channel. And then I hit Dollar Tree and I picked up, and these are in like the party slash wedding section, some mini salt shakers. So I'm gonna be putting my some of my brusho in my salt shakers. And I've actually, I think I've released a tutorial on how I did that last time, but I'm gonna do that when I get in Nashville. And then also at Dollar Tree, I picked up some mini wavy plates because I thought these would be great for washes. So that is my David Art Supply Haul. I hope you guys will look forward to the reviews that are gonna come from this haul video. And I hope you guys will check out some of my existing reviews while you wait. And I definitely hope you guys will head on over to David Art Supply if you're looking for art supplies in the greater New Orleans area. They're not a sponsor of mine, but they always, I always enjoy going there. It's a great local store, um, very well stocked. 
have a lot of wonderful history there. Their Weimaraner dogs are super sweet. So, you know, that is always a perk if you enjoy beautiful puppies. And their staff is super nice, so I wanna see them continue to succeed. And the only way I know how to do that is to give them my money when I'm in town, and I recommend that people check them out. So, I will see you guys again soon. Bye!